Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing an order from Midland Miniatures. Scruffy Crow. <laughs> okay, so in my quest looking for more halflings that matched the uh, the North Star ones, uh, I remembered a company that had done a few halfling Kickstarters that uh, was Midland Miniatures. Uh, so I went on there and I browsed around. I thought they looked like they might match fairly well. Uh, so I picked up a few extra characters. So I needed a wizard. Oh. And this one really screamed out at me. I absolutely love it. I think he's got so much character, so many features there. Um, I like his little staff with a little gem on the top. Yeah, excellent little mini. Um, and then I picked up a spare wizard as well. Sort of a hippie flower sorceress type girl. I thought that fit the half of the aesthetic quite well. She's doing the old magic fingers, which I quite liked. So I got a couple of wizards. And then I thought about my units. Um, I've done banners, uh, but I don't have any musicians. So I picked up this guy. He could be my little musician. He's a little loot. And that is a halfling bard. He's still got a little dagger, so he's ready for battle. Uh, and he'll go in the front of my main unit. And then picked up a, a female sort of thief or rogue. Um, and she can go in my main unit as well with the swords. I think she's quite a nice little sculpt. And then to lead my army, I've got I picked up this little town mare, which I thought was pretty cool. And he could be some sort of unit with a command function. And then, last but not least, I've got this little tracker um, to go in my bow unit. And out of all of them, these are the one that fits least well, unfortunately. But So let's see what they look like side by side with the uh, North Star ones. I'm not going to look at the wizards too closely. Uh, they look fine with the wizards. They're, they're a similar stature. Um, and there wasn't a lot of other wizard options. Um, so I'm happy with those because they're going to be hanging around by themselves. I'm more worried about the, the models that are going to go join units. Um, so here is the female swordsman. And here's how she stacks up. And I think that's quite well. The face is a little bit bigger but sort of hands uh, and feet and just general build, that's not too bad at all. Uh, so she'll fit in the unit quite nicely. And yeah, same with the bard actually. If we look at that once again, the face is that little bit bigger, um, but the size of the hands, which is one of the things that gets me when you try to make it, get scales to match, and the feet. But I've recently been looking at this Lord of the Rings character as well, and uh, his hands, just as a comparison, are absolutely tiny. So he's the same height, but his hands and feet are actually quite small. Whereas these guys are matching in much, much better. So I think they are the closest uh, of a manufacturer I've found to the North Star Halflings. And this is the Mare. He's obviously a lot shorter, uh, stumpier. But then that's quite cool because that's variation, you know. Might even have short halflings, you might have tall halflings. Um, so I'm happy with that. And then last again, we've got the tracker. Now he is a little bit more, his face is that much bigger than some even some of the others. But the style of it's quite similar to the cobblestone halflings. So that's not too bad either, actually. I was thinking he didn't really fit. I mean, there's definitely, you can tell it's a different sculptor, but the sort of height and general proportions still seem pretty good. Especially when you compare it to all the other sort of halfling manufacturers out there. Obviously my favorite halflings are the, the uh, warp block ones. Um, and you know, and as I've said before, they're, they're way out. Um, and then you have sort of Goom's Workshop halflings that are all just head and feet. Um, which obviously wouldn't match in this army at all. So I'm actually really pleased with the way they match. On top of those, uh, Midland Miniatures were kind enough to throw in a, an extra little bag for me. Now, funnily enough, this is something I was uh, looking at uh, with my townscape in mind. So this is a set of beekeepers. Oh, 
and beehives as well. Let's get that everything out. So we've got yeah, beekeeper lady with a with a beehive there, and carrying one. And then we've got a guy who's taking his beekeeping hat offs somewhat in inadvisably. He's looking a bit stressed about it. And then we've got another fella carrying the beehive around. And once again, scale wise, he scaled pretty well with the North Star halflings. And I think these guys would fit fairly well with the um, foundry halflings as well, if I can check one of them. So this is a yeah, foundry guy leaning on a bar. And the heads are bigger, a little bit bigger again. Uh, but yeah, once again, the height and everything seems to be pretty good. But the hands are even bigger, so these are way more exaggerated. See, for me, they didn't go together at all. Whereas these Midland ones are sort of at nice middle ground, um, closer to them, I think. Uh, and this is just a TT combat guy uh, from my little bar scene as well. Once again, you see way more exaggerated. So yeah, I actually, I'm actually leaning towards these kind of halflings at the moment a little bit. Um, and yeah, these are fantastic little minis. So much expression on that little guy. Um, and yeah, then we've just got a little beehive on its own. And I get these guys painted up as part of my townscape, because I think they'll look pretty cool uh, in that scene. And I'll use them as sort of uh, objectives or um, sort of just little NPCs in my villages when I uh, play games. Okay, so I've popped the uh, mayor and the loot player in my little sword unit. And I'm really happy with the way they look. They match in. Really, oh, and the uh, female adventurer. Uh, they match in really well. Um, and they're going to look great, all painted up. The I said the trapper. I was less sure about. And yeah, he doesn't look as fantastic in his little bow unit uh, as these do. So I might have to find something a little bit different for that. Uh, but I'm going to leave these ones uh, out of the way for now. Um, until I paint the rest of this unit, same with the bow guy, and we'll just concentrate on the wizards and the beekeepers. As with the rest of the army, I'll be using some of this brown wood filler to hide the difference between the metal bases and the uh, plastic bases. Something a little bit like this. And then once that's dry, I'll just neaten it up uh, with the end of my emery board. Then it'll be a case of some PVA and a bit of sand. And then, like these ones, they'll get a coat of the Halfords uh, Grey Primer, uh, which I really like when I'm doing sort of fairly brightly coloured models like these. Okay, so I smashed out some paint on these guys. We've got the beekeepers over here, and we've got the two wizards over here. I did their pretty quick and simple job on the beekeepers. I think they've come out really nicely. I had to look at some historical photos and found out these uh, face pieces would have been wicker and then obviously like a linen uh, outfit. And these guys were pretty simple. Um, I said only a couple of colours really used, some leather and some browns with the wicker. This guy was a bit more exciting. Uh, did my normal sort of flesh recipe though, uh, but he's got a wonderfully expressive little face. Uh, and I think he came out real nice. The wizards, I uh, said so they were using these in Oathmark. I really like that sculpt and he was an absolute joy to paint. I think he's come out really nicely. It's ages because of all these little details, but I think it was completely worthwhile. I was also experimenting with a few uh, new paints, new colours uh, with this guy. This green is what I'm going to use, I think, across my army. Um, so I was kind of experimenting with how that went together. But yeah, I'm really happy with him. Uh, these little bases you might have noticed are, um, so in Oathmark, his base will just slot into there. And now he's on a 25 mil square uh, base. And I've got a second one for the sort of sorceress there. And then you just click on and off without too much hassle. Once again, the sorceress, I really was experimenting. I was trying to make this much lighter uh, area than my painting tends to be. 
use the same green because I said I'm going to follow that across the whole army. I'm quite happy with the hair as well, that's a, an ochre set that I uh, was trying out. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous little figures. So all in all, I'm really impressed with these Midland Halflings. Uh, they're really nice sculpts on their own and uh, some of them match really, really well with the North Star Halflings, which I'm happy about. Uh, some of them not so much, uh, like the Trapper. So there is a something uh, throughout their scale where they don't particularly fit well with themselves, uh, which is a bit odd. Uh, but even this sculpt, even though he doesn't really fit with my army, it's still an absolutely lovely sculpt. There's no issues with it. Um, I think some of that's down to the fact that they make characters uh, rather than sort of armies, uh, which also kind of accounts for the price. Uh, these guys are uh, three quid a piece. Uh, which I think is more than reasonable for a character, but obviously would get fairly pricey trying to build whole units. They paint up really nicely uh, and they're really worthwhile. And for me, they're the best source of halfling sort of wizards. Uh, they also do a huge range of other halflings uh, that you wouldn't normally see. So there's some like, uh, pi there's a couple of pirates, like a necromancer. I've never seen a halfling necromancer before, for instance. Uh, a bunch of other stuff like that. I mean, they also have a whole range of stuff that's not halflings, um, which I, you know, have to see in the quality of these minis. I would certainly be interested in taking a second look at. So yeah, Midland minis, uh, a definite win finding these guys. Uh, I can highly recommend. And I can't wait to get these guys out on the table, uh, casting some spells. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.